Okay, so here what I want is to for this thread to disappear because it's not supposed to return any messages and so it should disappear. So let's go back to our classes, messages.php class and let's look at the one that reads the threads. So read one, read one thread, read threads. This is the one right here. Okay. So on this one, we want to make sure that all the deleted threads do not show up. Now that's not really difficult. If you come back here, if we go message by message, right? We are supposed to know if I am the receiver of this message, let me make sure that deleted receiver is zero before I retrieve that message. Or if I am the sender, it should be zero. So we already have something similar here where it's saying if I am the sender or I am the receiver, then retrieve that message. But we can add an and here just to make sure that it, it checks for something else. So let's say and deleted sender should be equal to zero. Now I want this to be evaluated as one. So I'll put this inside brackets. So if I am the sender and my deleted is zero on that row, then retrieve it. But also if I'm the receiver and I'm sure you guessed what we are supposed to write here, deleted receiver is equal to zero. So similar thing, we are going to wrap this inside brackets. And that's it actually. So if I come back here and refresh, I will not see that thread anymore. Very good. Okay. Now we only have this thread here. Very nice. But if I come back to the same user and want to send them a message, it will take me to this thread here. Okay. Well and good. Now, what I want to do is to be able to write, upload a message with, uh, to send a message with an image. So I'll say this is a message with an image. Yes. So let's browse for an image. Uh, must have images somewhere here. Let's see, profile images. Okay, pretty good. Let's try this one send bam okay so we have uh, mm. okay so we have some errors here now if we look the errors are inside message write.php online 22 so let's go to message write online 22 which is right here so the mistake we made here is that um, we are asking for image instead of file. So let's just put file over there and that should solve the problem. We should do exactly the same thing in message left, right here where it says, if message file exists, message uh, image, change that to file. And that should solve the problem. Refresh, there we go. Pretty cool. Now here where it says, <clears throat> sorry, click to view full image. We get nothing so now the file name for this one is image view as we can see in the link so let's follow it up image view dot php so why isn't it working now usually image view just expects uh to have image view and then the post id but this is a message so we did type msg there in the link which is good so what we will do instead is let's search for msg so I will come here to where it's saying get one post here. Yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. So I will duplicate this as usual. And then I'll check if this is set and it's equal to message, the first one here. Yeah, then we go through here instead. So what I want to do is to, let me create a new message here. A message, message is equal to new messages. I don't know why I named it messages instead of just message. 
Okay, so then we will use these messages here. Get one post, but we want to get one message, right? But is there a thing to get one message already here? Let's go to message classes and let's see if we have read one or something similar. Read threads, read one thread, read one right there. And it takes in a, an ID, so it's completely ideal for what we want. So what's the name again? Read one. But we're getting number two, the second part of this. So row, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. that should do it. So let's refresh the data. So we have a syntax error. Syntax errors are like the easiest errors to deal with because it just means you've typed something wrong. So it's saying unexpected end of file. Usually when this happens, it means you've left out a, a opening or closing bracket somewhere. So it can't really tell where the code should end. So let's look at line 188. Usually that's not where the error is when it says end of file because then it's just saying 188 is the end of the file. So we have to find somewhere we have missed a bracket. So, and luckily enough, I can see it right there. We were supposed to put a close and then put an else statement. Okay, so now that we have that done, it's undefined index image on line 174. Oh, pretty good. So let's go to line 174. So if you see here, line 174 requires that we have the raw image in there, but in our table, we don't have an image column. We have a file column instead. That's what we are using for our images. So instead of having to put an if statement here to check this and that, all I can do is just create this up here. So once I retrieve this row, I can simply say row image. I just create it there is equal to raw file so that it has two columns now a file column and an image column pretty straightforward there we go pretty good now this will cause an error if this is not found so it would be a good idea to put an if statement and say if um, is array sorry about that like a that, that way you know that uh, it's really an array before you try to manipulate it as an array. Okay, so good, we are good to go there. Let's try uh, image post without some text, Let's see if it goes through. There we go, it's going through. And this also can be viewed here. Pretty awesome, yes. Okay, so things are looking good here. And now if I go back to my profile and go to messages, I get this monstrosity here. Mm. Now, this is inside thread.php online 40. So let's go to thread.php. That's the one right there. On line 40, so it's looking for an image, but we have file instead. So let's try that. Very good, but this is not good because this is where we are seeing our thread. We don't want to be reading, acting like we are reading the message from here. So let's reduce the image. Actually, what you could do, instead of getting the actual post image, you could just put a, an image placeholder to just show the user that somebody sent them an image and for them to see the image, they have to click on the message. But for all intents and purposes, let's just reduce the size here and put that number in pixels. That's much better. And we don't want to see this view full size, even though it works here, but we want the user to actually read the message. So we will remove this entire section with PHP tags there. And there we go. So you can design these things as needed to get to your goal. All right, so now once we click here, we are back to normal. Click here, back to normal. And can we still delete one of these? 
nothing is broken everything works fine so you can also put uh, a link to take you to chatting with this one and then if you want to go back to all messages you can put a link here for all messages because all messages are right where are they here it's just messages that's it so it's not a very difficult thing to do right here um, delete thread view all messages so right on delete thread here let me go back to messages.php chatting with okay that's pretty good so right here we can do something outside the outside maybe uh, that should be the first thing that shows up we don't need this to be inside an if statement because it can be there throughout so what i would say instead of delete instead of all this actually we will just go to messages like this like that that's all we need messages so boom that is back there and that is back there okay I think it's looking good and then here you say delete thread but you can just say all messages like that and then let's remove the background color of course so that it's not so scary uh -huh. but we want this to be on a separate line so let's put our break tag okay and then delete thread goes there so uh, it looks convenient but it's pushing this away so maybe not so much so what are we gonna do what are we gonna do let's try another break tag here oh this is messing things up so let me remove the break tags instead what i will add is a style on both of these for a margin, I just say margin four pixels, something of that sort. Yeah, much better. So delete thread, all messages. Bam, all messages. Delete thread. Okay. Uh, very nice. So I'll see you in the next video.